So guys, for the first step, if you do have a VirtualBox machine running, you want to power it off. Next, you want to right click on the virtual machine that you want to configure and then click on settings. Then you want to click on display and then you want to make sure that enable 3D acceleration has been turned on. So tick this and then you want to drag the video memory to the highest. Then you want to head over to the system tab. Then you want to set your base memory. You want to make sure that it's somewhere in the green zone. And then you want to click on processor and then do the same thing. So depending on how many CPUs you have, I would recommend at least two. But I just use four. But just make sure that it's in the green zone. And then click on OK. Now you want to open up your virtual machine again. Now once you're on our virtual machine, you want to make sure that you can see these options at the top. If you don't see them, you want to click on your host key and then click on C. Your host key is probably going to be right control and then click on C. Which will then make these options appear at the top. You want to click on devices and then you want to click on insert guest edition CD image. And then you want to head over to file explorer in your virtual machine and then click on this PC. Which should then make this virtual box guest editions appear. You want to double click on it. And then you want to scroll down. And then you want to find the 64 bit version. You want to run this, so just double click on it. These are the VirtualBox drivers. You want to install this, click on yes. And then click on next. Click on next again, and click on install. And then once you're back on, your virtual machine should be much faster again. But if you run into any more problems in the future again, you want to repeat that same step that I just showed you. So you just want to reinstall those VirtualBox drivers.